It is the first major injury of the 4th of July holiday season. An Omaha man was critically injured this morning when a firework exploded in his hands. Police and vendors are using this injury as a cautionary tale for others. Around this holiday, consumer experts say roughly 230 people go to the emergency room each day because of firework injuries. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore is live near 108th in Q with this story. Shante, what exactly happened? Matt and Deanna, good afternoon. Earlier this morning, a man had brought a firework into his workplace wanting to have some fun with his coworkers when it detonated in his hand. And Nebraska Medicine says last year alone, they saw anywhere from 20 to 25 cases related to firework injuries. And the people who run this fireworks booth say it happens all too common. Always follow the directions on the packages, stay away, make sure little kids ain't playing with them, and always have adult supervision when you're playing. It's sound advice that sounds like common knowledge, but firework-related injuries happen every year, just like this morning. Well, he was unable to get the fireworks out of his hand in time. It set off when it basically detonated inside of his hands. Um, causing uh, serious injuries to his to his hands. Omaha police say the man purchased illegal firework. He then brought it to work, wanting to have some fun with his co-workers at Select Van and Storage near 80th and J. It happened in a doorway leading out. He was going to uh, light the device um, while he stood in the doorway and then throw it out of the parking lot. Marco Robles sells fireworks to support his kids' little league team and says he's heard horror stories. People catching on fire, houses catching on fire, people blowing fingers off, toes. Even with this sign, Robles says people often don't realize how dangerous fireworks can be. Don't come in here with cigarettes. No, stay away. If you got cigarettes, stay away. Just come in and be ready to purchase and be safe because we're all... We, we all want to go home. As for that man who was seriously injured after having the firework detonate in his hand, police say he won't face any charges, but they do caution people to please read the instructions, read the signs before using the fireworks to avoid any accidents. Reporting live near 108th and Q, Shantae Passmore, KMTV Action News Midday.